this bread is going to be bringing people together. You guys are about to make this beautiful pandemic. I'm going to show you how. We're going to break bread all over the world. If I can do it, you guys can do it. So do it with me together. My Unity Bread. Let's do it. I'm Dominique Crane and um, I am Dominique Crane and this is who I am. What defines me is not our words and my job, it's what I do with it that defines me. My dad taught me, if you are giving a platform like I've been giving a platform in this lifetime, make sure that you always give back to the others because you are here on this earth, not for yourself but as a part of the collective. That's what I want to focus on. I'm going to make some bread today. We're going to make some pain de mie. I grew up with pain de mie. I love this bread and I'm going to show you how. So we have a few ingredients and it's a very simple recipe, but you got to be focused. We have whole milk, egg, I'm French, so it has to be a little bit of creme fraiche. Obviously, you can use uh, sour cream if you want, but creme fraiche are the best. Uh, some uh, yeast, flour, salt, make sure it's a good one. Uh, sugar, organic sugar, and uh, butter. It could be salted butter, unsalted. But if you don't want to use regular butter, like me, you can use Miyoko culture butter. Amazing product, it's all plant-based, very good for you. A recipe is a recipe, but if you follow a recipe with, with a purpose in your head and what you want to achieve and why you're making this bread, the bread's going to taste so much better. The intention is, is love, is unity, and is humanity. Okay, so we're going to mix everything together. So. We are putting a little bit of all the milk inside. Whoops, make some noise because it's good. Les œufs, la crème fraîche. If you have some leftover, you make some hot chocolate and you add a little bit of this, it's delicious. Make sure that you are clean. Soak it up, putting it there. And then you just want to kind of mix it together. And then you want to shift uh, the flour. Don't want to put it all at once, but you know, just delicately. So you mix it, so you make sure that you incorporate it very slowly. Before to put it uh, to and mix it, I kind of like to mix it, you know, before that because I don't like this to be too clumsy, you know? So I'm kind of helping things to come together. Okay. You can also use your hand, which I think are the best, but um, I just want to be a little bit thinner right now. And then, okay. Very slowly. And then when you see things to get incorporated together, maybe 30 seconds. Now you can add the salt. And you want to go on both sides. So it's even. The sugar, same way. I'm going to add a little bit of butter to it. Look at this beautiful dough. Look at this. I think it's beautiful mix. It's a bit sticky. This is what you want. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna work a little bit on this. So we gotta flour a little bit so it doesn't stay. So you want to look at the dough. The dough, the consistency of the dough needs to be soft, a little bit sticky. And then you want to make sure that everything is incorporated. You know, if you have like big piece of clammy piece inside, it's not good, but I think it looks good. And then you just want to work it a little bit. 
And then what we're gonna do, just to mix it, get this. I have a very good friend of mine that is an incredible baker. She will look at me and say, what the hell are you doing? I'm shipping in the form of a bowl because I'm gonna put it in a nice bowl and let it rest. And after we're gonna reship it here, here again, but like it will be like more loaf. Proof it for about 30 minutes the first time. And then it's just any towel. I don't recommend plastic. That's it. There's not one day that my parents didn't break bread with my brother and I. The concept of, of breaking bread is the sentence that has been used forever. As soon as you break this bread, then the conversation starts. So we lose that. We live in a world where it's like we are on the go too, too many times, you know, too, too, it's too long. We need to stop and we need to reconnect people. We're gonna do it now. Okay, it's about 30 minutes. We're gonna check the proof of the bread here. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Proofing allow the dough to expand and to get lighter. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna fold it. Because I think, you know, like if right now you don't prove it, your bread's gonna be very dense. Spray first so it doesn't stick. You're bringing this unity bread to life. So you gotta be patient and you gotta do the step. All right, let's do this. Are we, are we going? I wanna take this out. You can see it's beautiful shape, you know, it's, you can touch it and you know this is where you wanna be. And so we wanna put them in the oven now. And what you have to do, you always have to do a kind of an egg wash on this. So very lightly, make sure that you're painting the bread, you're giving love with some eggs. What it does, it just makes the crust so beautiful and shiny. It looks like gold. We are putting that in the oven, 35 minutes to 45 minutes at 195. Sometimes it takes a little bit more time. So what you want to do after 35 minutes, you take a thermometer and you just plug it inside. It needs to be 195. If you don't have a thermometer, but you have a stick, you put it inside, take it out, and then you touch it here or you touch it on your lips. And if it's not warm, it needs to be cooked more. So you just have to pay a little bit of uh, attention here and uh, then you become a cook, a great cook when you pay attention. So let's do this. Doesn't matter where you come from. Doesn't matter if you have a different idea about, about political beliefs or religion beliefs. I don't care about all of that. What matter that as human, everyone has this need of loving each other and give back to each other. And just bread is the symbol of it. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes. It's hot. It smells so good. This is my unity bread. So you just wanna unmold it. Oh yeah. And let it rest for a second. And how you know it's cooked? You just have to touch around. You can see how the crust, it's solid, but very soft inside. So you know that this bread is amazing. So let it sit for about 30 minutes. Don't put it in the fridge. Don't wrap it up. Just let it rest on the kitchen table and that's it. All right, this is the moment of truth. The beautiful unity bread. But you know what is the most exciting? that you and I are gonna cut into it. We're gonna get a knife, get the, get the bread. Oh my God, I am so excited about this. Look at this baby, whoa. You can cut it as thin or thick as you want. But I'm gonna show you, oh, this is. The smell of it, see how soft it is. You know this is perfectly cooked. The crust is beautiful. And you know what is beautiful? You take that Unity bread, put a little bit of butter on this, okay? I used to do that, you know, after like hours of like playing soccer in France, the only thing I wanted to eat 
It's panda meat with butter and chocolate. Just drip it on top of it. Oh, Lord. Let's do this. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Man. Okay, so um, first of all, thank you so much. You're gonna have a blast making this bread, but I think what I want to offer to you that I hope um, you can follow is make this bread with a purpose of love, unity, and humanity. And just make sure that you know that you're gonna share this with other people. And that's the beauty of it. Because life is about love, unity, and humanity. That's all I have to say. Don't burn yourself.